everybody, this is Esteban from Redline Auto Parts. Very excited to introduce to you our next project, which is this 2001 Z3 Coupe, AKA the Clown Shoe. Now this one is not the M version. Those are a lot more expensive. These are actually a little bit more rare, but nevertheless, it still has the clown shoe look and we're very excited to get this project on the road. So what's all wrong with this car? First, you can see the obvious. We bought this car from a salvage auction in California, had it transported here to Florida. It looks like it hit something with the front bumper or it went off-roading. Um, the biggest damage to the car is actually on the suspension. You can see the other wheel is perfectly straight and this one is turned and pushed into the back right here. The control arm is all bent and the sway bar link. So we'll get into that a little bit later. And of course we got the headlights missing, the fender liner, the bumper itself. And we have to make sure that this bumper support didn't actually take the hit. They do have these, uh, these little curves and humps in them from the factory. So we just have to measure everything to see if it actually took a hit or not. So our very first goal with this car is to convert the rebuildable title to a rebuild title. So for that, of course, we need to fix the suspension components, the front bumper, uh, make sure there's no airbag lights or anything of the sort, and uh, get it inspected by the DMV. Then after that, we feel more comfortable getting into all the other stuff that the car needs repaired on. So second order of business is all the general sometimes lack of maintenance or lack of upkeep let's call it these bmw emblems wear over time right here we have these uh dents from the inside of the hood a lot of times what happens is the plastic uh, fan blade breaks and this is the damage that occurred to it so we'll take that taken care of and the body gets taken care of uh, moving along we have the bmw emblems on the side here as well these mirrors have this clear bra on them that did not survive very well. And of course, you can see the general paint condition is really bad. So back here, uh, I don't know how this was related to the accident or not. The rear spoiler apparently broke off. Uh, the rear spoiler was included in the trunk, but apparently all the plastic mounted points are broken on it. So we will need a replacement one. Of course, we have these stickers we want to get off of there. Another emblem, some more paint back here, but otherwise the body is in excellent shape. So the factory wheels are actually not the, that bad in condition. It looks like it needs a little bit of repolishing right there, but the tires have to go for sure. I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this brand, Westlake right here, but we do have another set of these wheels in better condition with some nice Continentals on it. That'll go on there. And then, uh, we'll be testing out some Z4 3.0 SI wheels to see if those will actually fit on this body very nicely. So moving on to the interior, uh, this uh, door handle and door panel, we'll have to see if the door panel itself needs replaced or if it's just a handle, definitely uh, did not survive very well. Um, we do have some general crud that looks like it's been there for a while. A lot of Gorilla Glue on this car, which we'll have to... Uh, replace a lot of parts on to get that stuff off of right now and of course general cleaning up so looking at the seats we see that we have some separation back here they're not in terrible shape but definitely this needs to get addressed as far as some wear right here uh, neither of the seats wants to go up and down electrically they do move forward and back so we'll have to figure that out of course we got the carpet all nice and dirty uh, the shift knob is not in very good condition this uh, e-brake handle is probably the worst e-brake handle I've seen in a BMW apparently blue duct tape was used to match the exterior color now on to running condition this car has 137,000 miles on it it actually starts runs very good uh, no overheating issues but it would not be a BMW without a check engine light along with some other service lights. Uh, the airbag light is on, so we'll see. It might be the seat belt pretensioners. We'll check that out later. Looks like they were nice enough to include the headlights for us. Too bad the mounting tabs are broken, so they're basically useless. But we'll see what else we need to do in here. The sunroof does not work. It just sounds like it wants to do something, so the motor is probably broken. And the headliner is not in good condition, so I guess we'll be learning how to redo a headliner. So under the hood, nothing looks too crazy under here. It looks like the core support survived the accident. It looks like 
this actually didn't hit down here so this should all be good there's no leaks on the radiator the ac system works perfectly fine uh, a couple maintenance issues we want to take care of of course on these bmws the power steering reservoir likes to leak this is just a simple replacement and then for some reason whenever the oil filter was changed last it was not tightened down all the way so that has leaked and leaked down the front of the engine as well so we'll take care of that onto the hatch area uh, see first thing these little uh, struts don't hold it up anymore hopefully they are in z3 coupe specific that would make them very expensive so hopefully they're shared with another bmw uh, back here they're nice enough to include the spoiler that broke off so we will not be able to use that and then under here this uh looks like the battery is actually nice and loose in there not the correct size so we'll be replacing it with the correct size and then seeing everything we need for the trunk kit. Looks like we'll be needing this to figure out how to open up the sunroof manually. So let's take a look underneath the car, see what we're working with. Uh, looking at the front bumper support, we get a little better look at it. And we see, thanks to this window, we see that it is indeed a little bit bent over here on the passenger side. So we'll have to replace that and see if the shocks, shocks for right now don't look like they got pushed in at all so we'll check that out a little bit further in detail and this is the main area of damage underneath uh, the control arm is definitely bent it's pushing the wheel back and out and then also the sway bar link and this bushing for the sway bar so we'll see about replacing those we have an oil leak here probably coming from the oil filter housing up top so we'll see if it's just as simple as that or if it's also the crank seal everything else looks fairly clear the scrapes right here on the x-brace that's pretty normal and i guess it just formed some surface rust over the years nothing to be scared of transmission looks good guibo it's a little used but it's not broken nothing too crazy stock exhaust everything is stocked back here we have no leaks on the diff no leaks anywhere back here on the shocks and then we'll be checking out the the subframe reinforcement a little bit more in detail to make sure that this car isn't plagued by that issue that plagues so many others but yeah overall looks pretty good underneath except for the areas that we definitely need to work on all right so there you have it that's everything that's wrong with our clown shoe uh hopefully you'll follow along please subscribe to the channel we're going to be tackling of course the suspension first the body the interior the window regulators don't work quite so well so there's a lot of little things that we have to fix on it and then after everything is all up to OEM standards, then we'll figure out what to do with it. We definitely want to do something fun as far as an engine swap. If you have any ideas, please, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.